Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Simple Minded People Play Feed the Beast. Hello. Dr. Beggins Hello. is down here, he's working on his house. He's actually doing like a Hello. mob spawner basement thing that's going to be mental if you decide to walk down there. So <laughs> that'll be using soul shards and stuff. He doesn't yet realise yep. how min much time and how many diamonds he's going to have to put into that. So that's going to be fun. Oh. <laughs> Bad face. Oh dear. Blue is up there. He's built a house in a hill. Which used to be my trick. Oh, we're going to put a farm on the roof. Yeah. Farm on the roof is his trick. And then we'll automate it or something and make it look even better. I made a pretty... Those are computer monitors. And there's one up there, but it's broken. I don't know why that one up there is broken, but it's broken. But this one works. Um, my workshop I'll, now is I'll for I'll... everything, not just bees. Oh, no. It's not broken, it's just on standby. Uh, let's see. Restart. There we go. Oh, look at this. There's a secret room. Yeah. And it's oh. fixed. Ta da! As yeah. with most computer programs, just turn them off. Turn them <laughs> yeah, off restart it. Turn it off and on again. But yeah, that took a few hours to pen out by hand. But that was pretty cool. Um, Come on, run. We've got bees going, but the trouble is, not a lot of them like breeding in this damp environment, so we need to get a few things, like a carpenter, for starters. Let's get a carpenter. I've laid this down here, we've got energy cells powering it, and these powering the cells. Oh, that's full. So, carpenter, carpenter, there we go. And let's fill it with water. Now, I need six redstone. And one tin. And that will give us a basic circuit board. With this basic circuit board, we should be able to go over here and put it in there. No, nope, that doesn't work. Where's the basic circuit board go? Aha, that was it. We should have, yep. Apiarist's machine goes there. We need some iron and some yeah. lapis. Uh. And that goes to there. Gives us a genetic machine. Then the genetic machine goes into here and we have a sequencer. These things are great. Let's go into here. Hello. Oh, I don't want to do the princesses. Uh, there we go, we've got loads of rocky drones. <laughs> you don't want to do the princesses. <laughs> no. I'll do the princesses. Really? Ow! What's with the spiky things underneath your house? That's my mob trap. Oh my goodness. That's a Dr. Begum's trap right there. Yep. Wow. You've got loads of stuff. No blank template. Like, you've got loads of stuff. How do you make a blank template?
Oh, I stole all, all of your diamond earlier. Oh, you cock! <laughs> Bring it back! <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Jew. There you go. You didn't even notice. I stole it like an hour ago and you didn't even notice. Ow! <laughs> that one, that's mine. I found that one. Did you? Okay. Yeah. That exact one. That exact one. Right, yeah, so it I'm looks gonna... like we need a centrifuge. I don't know how to make a centrifuge. But you're like Chris. And um... like, you're supposed to like know everything. Ah, it's the same but with copper. I've got it, look. Check it out. Right, so that, 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 and gives us that. Copper, 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 copper. Now, where's my glass? I made a centrifuge. There's one. Have I got some more? There, there. And we go back over here. No, not that one. That one. Centrifuge. I should be getting power now. Which one was it? Ooh. Dripping doing, comb, buddy? memory comb, furtive comb. Uh, we don't have any of those. What do you need? A dripping comb, a memory comb, or a furtive comb. I'm going to stick normal honeycomb in there for now and see how that goes. Alright. Getting some beeswax. Honey drop. Find your own beeswax. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> slag. <laughs> yeah. I just, I and just at the end, slag. at the end, there's some rich slags as well. Ooh. Ah, uh, there's only thirteen though. We need more rich slags. <laughs> Let's put the ferrous metal in there. I've got this set up so that. You drop ores in the top, in this hopper on top of this one. And it'll pulverise okay. them down. Any waste products, like slag and rich slag and dust and stuff, it chucks out to the left. It'll chuck the next one out to the right. And in this hopper you chuck sand. So the induction smelter will then smelt it all up and chuck the finished product in this chest over here. It's really cool. Quite impressive. Uh, let's put that what's, away. what's the big shiny blue box? That is a fabricator. Wow. They are brilliant. Um, basically, they can pull out of inventories that are next to them. So if you've got all the materials you need to make something in an inventory next to it, you can then put the pattern in the fabricator, and the fabricator will make as many as it possibly can. Wow. Yeah. Fabricate me some diamonds. That doesn't work like that, because diamonds don't have oh. a recipe. Oh, well, give me some diamonds. <laughs> no. Ow! <laughs> um, what can, can you fabricate me? Some of that stuff that I need. Make spawners. Yeah. Uh, soul shards, that's the one. Soul shards, yeah. no, you need a soul forge. Oh, can you fabricate me a soul forge, please? No, yeah. go and make one. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do realise that requires me reading and researching. Yeah, that's your punishment. Uh, for stealing my diamonds. <laughs> I only took one. Oh, that was mine. I, I found that fair and square. It was in Yo-Yo's chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still mining, it's just not the conventional way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll let you off on that one. Right, soul. So what? Uh, what are you doing, Blue? Forge. Building. Did you? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yet? No, I haven't it's actually. Finished. It's not finished, but it's it's getting there. I gotta add a bed and soul stuff. Sand. And I was gonna add another room. This is cool. Okay. 
Right, I'm going to like go and grab... Yeah, man. And there's pictures on the walls and stuff. I'm going to have to try out a few di different texture packs and see what they look like on those. Storage! Uh, okay. Lots of storage. Awesome. If you've got a minium stone blue, you can transmute cobblestone through to, like, grass and dirt and sand. Stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think I have one of those. Uh, you got any iron? Uh, it needs to be cooked, I think. Uh, no, I, I got seven hearing ingots. You got any gold? Uh, no. I don't <laughs> think so. Right, follow me, Blue. Ooh. This way. Right. So, one of those. Um, wow. Four of those. I've got some smooth stone. Now, look in this end project table. It goes... That way around. Gives you an inert stone. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It gave me ten for some reason. And then you put the shards of minium around it. And you've got a minium stone. Feel free to take it. Wow. They're pretty cool. And if you just put stones. that in with some cobble, you get grass. Ooh. Put it in with grass, I think you get sand. Sand turns back to cobble again, or dirt. I like this. Yeah. It does have durability though, so if once you transmute something like that, it will lose a bit of its durability. You can see the one that's in the project table's inventory has actually been used quite a bit. Oh yeah, you can do loads of stuff. I don't think it quite oh, works. Oh come on, with... it needs to give me something for that. Come on. <laughs> I'm not sure what else you can... What about that? No. Oh. But you can go between different dyes. So if you've got red dye, you can turn it into virtually any colour you like. I think I've got some black here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. Does it work with this? Yep, works with black ones. Wow. So rose red, cactus green, purple, cyan, light grey, grey, pink, lime, dandelion yellow, light blue, magenta, orange, and back to black. How cool is that? Pretty sweet. Yeah, no, feel free to take it. I've got loads of materials, I can make loads. Sweet. Um, I just went to the nether. Okay. And then I just came back from the nether. And you're nowhere near here, yeah? And I'm, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Do you have a coordinate? I've got, yeah, I've got a waypoint, it just, you know, it's going to be like a three-hour walk home. <laughs> yeah, I think you, that nether portal brings you out like 1,400 blocks away. Um, right, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm actually going to go and do some research on how those, that bloody synthesizer works. And I'm going to walk home. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave Dean to walk all the way back here because it's funny. And uh, I think the next thing we'll see is Blue's farm when he puts it up here. That would be pretty cool. And try to automate it. Yeah, so that's it for this episode. See you later. Bye. Bye.